Yes, yes, people, this is Mike, the owner of the Chip Shop in Buxton. In the space of four years, Chip Shop has become the number one spot for hip-hop in the UK, especially that underground shit, you know what I mean? That real, real shit. Everyone's blessed the mic from Ice T to Be Real to Chop D to KRS One, Rodney P, Ty, Rest in Peace, Killer Keller, of course, Black Swans, Moni Love, everyone's come through. If you don't know about a spot, now you know. Hi, I'm Moni Love, and I'm the head chef here at the Chip Shop. <laughs> Big up to the chip with the chip shop. Yo, check, check, check this out. This is the turntable number one, number one, one, the turntable number two, 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 two. two, two. Chip Shop has become the place where you're most likely to see the hip hop community congregate. Different walks of life in hip hop. To, wa- to watch and see, and like, whether it's the celebrity artist that we come to see, or whether it's the fan, yeah. your hip hop chip shop somehow has captured that need for people to be close to the artist. So it was electric, bro. Like, it was, it was, it was cooking, it was chipping and shopping. people a little one minute history blast for you a little chip shop history let's take it back to my teen years which is when i got into hip-hop um moved over to france was doing an apprenticeship in a restaurant over there and my manager at the time he was a big hip-hop head so he really introduced me to hip-hop he ended up going to jail for a couple of years and left me with a cd collection uh, in that cd collection was was everything from Public Enemy, Ice T, Ice Cube, Snoop, Dre, Das FX, Red Man. It was all there, all the classics. It was 95, 96, so literally it was a mad time. Um, flash forward, 97, moved back to England, uh, moved to London for the first time. I uh, was messing about in the club scene there for a couple of years, then started promoting garage waves. Uh, I used to have my own night called Tempted. Uh, Tempted at Emporium, it was um, Emporium in the West End, first Wednesday of the month. Um, yeah, it was sick, we had everyone come through as well, Jason K, Sticky, uh, B Live, yeah, all, 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 all the major players at the time came through the spot. Um, but yeah, it was hard work, it was hard work. If you got a day job, promoting in those days was difficult because there was no social media, so you had to be out every night promoting, um, which was good. But if you didn't have it, if you had a day job, that was it was, it was, it was only so long you could do it for. So I knocked on the head after about six months. Flash forward to uh, 2015, we opened a chip shop. Inspired by a couple of spots. Uh, firstly, I'd say Jazz Cafe, because that was kind of the closest you can get to the artist before we opened. Uh, also inspired by another spot in Hong Kong called The Brick House, which is a, it's not even a live venue, but it was, an, um, it was a sick bar, just lively, sick food, mad vibes in there, the, all the bar stuff dancing on the bar, behind the bar, mad loud music, you couldn't even hear yourself talk, but yeah, it was sick, just the atmosphere was wicked. Didn't really expect to find that in Hong Kong, but uh, brought a little piece of that back to, back to London as well. So when we launched, just merged all my, you know, all my passion for hip hop. Just put it into this, into this, into this project, and um, yeah, this is where we're at now. Now, all of a sudden, all those people I was listening to as a teenager, they're coming through my spot. So it's, it's like it's literally living the dream. All right, so we're in the kitchen. New head chef starting next month, Radek. Radek, tell the people. So um, I'm from pretty much uh, Soho House background. Starting with chip shop next month. Uh, super excited, huge fan of hip hop. We're gonna rock and roll some great food for you guys. And um, 4th of July, let's start it out. Vegan breakfast. And um, obviously, full English fryer. Avocado on toast, gypsy eggs, uh, coconut, sugar snaps, pomegranate, avocado salad, uh, black pudding sausage roll with mango chutney. Uh, 
Polska. Ten Damaja. <laughs> Damaja, Big Mac Inspired, Brooklyn Sauce, Fried Gherkins, Double Cheesy Patty, um, Salmon salmon Pate with House Pickles, uh, Korean Wings, Big Pan Burger, uh, so Big Patty with uh, Pulled Beef and Pinto Beans Ragu, Yogurt marinated, marinated lamb chops, hot burger with uh, tartar sauce and uh, house slow, jerk wings, vegan burger, uh, chipotle wings, peri peri chicken with pineapple salsa, cod with radish pickles. That's it. New spread Egyptian. Let's start. Let's get stuck in. basement days uh, back in the day uh, a couple of months later from that he asked me invited us to, to come on come on board with his um, rap station 365 radio station that he was launching he wanted us to showcase the best of uk hip-hop of course it was a complete honor so we said yes straight away alongside dj shorty we created the chip shop show which airs every saturday in new york at 8 p.m and is repeated on a sunday at 1 p.m uh, so check that out some sick guests on there loads of sick mixes um yeah it's a sick show man check it out I'm here in the chip shop. What? 